Are there any natural treatments I can try for my depression? This is my top three. I get asked this question a lot by patients looking for alternative treatments for their mood problems, either because of side effects or other concerns with antidepressants. Or, you know, they were asked to take an antidepressant, but they're reluctant to do so. As someone who has spent their career researching and prescribing antidepressants, I don't blame you. There are costs, possible side effects, you have to see a doctor for them. Maybe you read about possible unknown long-term risks. Maybe you know someone that had a bad experience when they took an antidepressant. If you can avoid them and you have a potentially successful alternative plan, then it may be okay to try that first, with some exceptions. Let's say your depression is so bad that it can affect your job, relationships, or if you're having thoughts of what, what not wanting to be around, then maybe it'd be too risky to wait possibly weeks or months to try alternatives that may or may not work. Although there's no guarantee antidepressants will work, they may be more predictable and they do have some credible science behind it. But let's say your depression hasn't reached that level and you want to try some natural treatments first or maybe even add them to your antidepressants if you aren't doing as well as you'd like or maybe you want to get off the medicine. So here you go. Eat healthy, exercise, reduce your stress level, avoid alcohol and drugs, and I don't mean antidepressant drugs, and see a counselor to address psychological issues that may be impacting your mood and ability to handle stress. Now you may be saying, wait a minute, I meant things like acupuncture, Reiki, herbs, supplements, crystals, what's gonna help me? I'll get to that in a minute. But if your plan is to stop for a Big Mac fries and milkshake after a heavy night of drinking on the way to the supplement store, forget it. There's no supplement or herb or anything like acupuncture that someone's gonna do to you that is gonna make you dramatically feel better without making important lifestyle changes. It just doesn't work that way, sorry. Now let's say you have made healthy changes to your life and you're still feeling bad. There are some supplements that may help in addition. I'm gonna give you my top three. There are others and I'll go over those in other videos, but these are the ones that I like. They're safe, they have a plausible mechanism of action, and even clinical studies to show that they can work. With any supplement, it's important for you to get it from a reliable manufacturer and distributor. Supplement manufacturers are not regulated with the same scrutiny as prescription medications and quality can vary widely, causing issues with safety and effectiveness. You may have a good manufacturer, but an unreliable dis distributor, where they're not stored properly, maybe they're expired, fake, counterfeit. So here's my choices. Number one, omega-3. Many studies show it helps depression, some say it doesn't. The problem with all these studies is that they don't always use the same doses or the same types of omega-3. Omega-3 is anti-inflammatory, and stress, depression, and anxiety have an inflammatory component to them. The research shows that when you buy omega-3, look at the back of the bottle where it says EPA, and you should take more than 750 to 1,000 milligrams of EPA. This seems to have most of the anti-inflammation. You can buy some omega-3 that's almost all EPA, and this can reduce the number of pills and the price. Some people take a lot of omega-3 safely, but if you have an allergy to fish or shellfish where some of it comes from, a bleeding abnormality, there may be some risks. Check with your doctor first to make sure it's safe. You can supplement omega-3 in your diet with wild-caught salmon and other types of fish, and there are even vegetarian forms of omega-3 that come from seaweed and algae, but some of these need to be converted to an active form, so it can be trickier to get the right amount. Number two, B complex. People know about B12 and even folic acid, but there are many other B vitamins which play an important role in manufacturing neurotransmitters that affect mood in our bodies. Many studies have shown that increasing these B vitamins can improve mood and reduce anxiety. I prefer this to a multivitamin, which has B vitamins, but not as much as you may need, and includes other vitamins that you're not likely to be deficient in like vitamin A and K and E, for example. B-complex can help mood, energy, focus. If you can get a methylated B-complex, that's the active form of the vitamins, and it may be better. 
Lastly, three, magnesium. Magnesium is very important in regulation of a number of bodily functions. Mood and anxiety is one of them. Many of us are magnesium deficient, even though our blood magnesium levels may be normal. Much of the processed food we eat, if you have a typical Western diet, is enriched, which means they take out a lot of the minerals and other nutrients. You can increase magnesium in your diet. Dark leafy greens, nuts, seeds, fish, beans, whole grains, Additional magnesium has been shown to help with depression, anxiety, and even sleep. Typically, I suggest two to 600 milligrams, depending on the type of magnesium. There are many forms of magnesium. Make sure you don't use the one that's for constipation. You're not gonna absorb it well, and you'll be in the bathroom day and night. I like magnesium orotate, glycinate, and even threonate, which is a little harder to find. Magnesium citrate and oxide may be less absorbed, Maybe better for your stomach and GI problems um, and constipation, but maybe not as good with depression. Check with your doctor first to make sure there are no medical risks for you. Certain heart, kidney, or endocrine conditions can make it unsafe to take extra magnesium and too much can be dangerous. Usually, if you're taking too much though, you're just going to get a lot of loose stools and diarrhea. So these are my favorite three, and if you check with your doctor first and know they're safe for you, they have the most evidence to support their use. I have many other videos on other supplements and alternative therapies for other mental health conditions.